Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 9 of this Trading to Chelsea series. And as you guys see up on screen, this is our current active squad, where we've only got a couple Chelsea players remaining. But I'm going to jump into the uh, tick list, guys, in just a second. This whole episode is going to be based upon Team of the Year trading tips, and helping you guys, sort of giving you guys advice and a little bit of a guidance in how you can make a lot of coins throughout Team of the Year. So... Today, guys, the midfielder is going to be released. You can see up on screen, we've got six players remaining left of the series. So we've got Hazard, Mata, Etu, William, Schurler, and Torres. Now, you guys asked me to update the tick list, so that will be at the end of the video. And uh, I picked up a couple deals. This was actually, guys, uh, more than two days ago. I think this was three days ago, as that's when I started trading for the next episode, which was this episode. So... This was pre-market crash, and I picked up a fair few deals, but then as the market crash came into play, it made trading a much more different playing field as different techniques came out. So in this episode, guys, I'll talk to you guys about players' prices going increasing and decreasing. I'll talk to you guys about informs, fitness cards, mass bidding, which is a very effective thing at the moment, and also... A few different tips about team of the year because many youtubers you know keep that quiet so i'll talk to you guys about all those different things in today's video so whilst we have some trading in the background i'll quickly talk about one thing that a subscriber left in the trading guide video team of the year trading guide video and that was he bought a couple players out of position for discard value and they were not selling so at the minute guys it's very difficult to sell players that are out of position, especially if there's going to be fierce competition. So what I normally recommend is if you've got some players, hold on to them. Keep listing them up if you'd like, but only list them for a price that you're happy to sell them for. Like if I pick up a player for 650 I want to sell it for 2 k especially if the cheapest in the market is 2500 So I still want to be making some big profits. I'm not going to list it for 1000 because there is still potential money to be made. And after Team of the Year does go by next week, you'll find the market should be starting to work its way back up in price. And you still want to be making that adequate profit. You don't want to be settling for little profits. So by all means, hold on to your money, guys, or hold on to your players, and you should be able to make some really good deals. Now, up on screen there, I sold all my players, and we're on 105,000 coins. So we hit the 100k mark, and uh, still got some really nice trading to go in this episode. So you'll also see some deals I picked up currently when the defenders were released into packs, because... Currently, guys, I was working on the time when uh, they actually released the Defenders, so I didn't manage to have any time to actually go and uh, trade then. But at midnight, guys, I got at some deals, and I'll show you guys them in just a second. So you'll see everything there. I'll talk to you guys also about in investing, because many people are not too sure. Like, what do they invest into? Do they look into um, rare players? Do they look into informs? So I'll cover all that in this video as well. So getting on to the first thing, guys, a subscriber asked me, what, which was... Players prices are only slightly going up or slightly going down and the reason for that is during the times when people want to sell um, they're starting to go down quite heavily especially when the team of the year is released on that day at that hour but when they're sort of going out well, as people are sort of settling into the market a little bit their prices will go back up because everyone wants to buy their players back so here you guys can see up on screen I'll quickly cover that topic again, but this is the updated web app. You can see the coins have changed. It becomes much smaller. Um, they've given you player search, consumable search, all of that on one different, uh, one main tab. And up on screen there, guys, you actually have some players that I've picked up. So I'm showing you guys, pick them up for 250. Uh, I actually initially bid 150, and I'd highly recommend if you guys are picking up golds, um, silvers, bronzes, all for, you know, open bids, because they're all going to go for 150. Try picking up as much stuff for 150 as you can and in terms of uh, silvers and golds I'd mainly look towards those two bronzes you can find some really good deals I was actually look initially looking for Heskey at one point because <laughs> Heskey can be made some really good profit people don't look at him when the uh, team of the year players are out but as soon as he goes you know as soon as team of the year passes people are going to want to back him want to get him back for around about at least 3,000 coins. So here I picked up some deals. I tried to pick up everything for 150. I'd highly recommend that. You can see I made 400 coins profit on that one silver card. And I picked up an Inform Benucci. So let me just cover the maths, guys. That one card over there, I made 400 coins approximately. If you're doing that with maybe 10 players, you're making 4,000 coins. And if you're doing that with, um, say, 100 players, you're making 40,000 coins. So you can see that very easily you can make a lot of coins. But I do recommend bidding only 150 or 200 as if you don't like the player or they don't sell you can always then discard them for profit so the cheaper you bid on them guys the better it is I'd always recommend 150 or 200 
And if worst case scenario, um, then by all means go for 250. But remember guys, certain players do discard for different values. So up on screen there, I think the uh, person who's bidding on that has no idea what the card is, but they're going to be making five coins. Because I know all the discard rates as I've done this before guys. I did this very often in the beginning of the game. Learning all the discard rates, I could have probably put... I'll probably do a video for that, guys. So helping you guys for the attackers and when the whole team of the year is released. But later today, guys, I'm going to try doing a pack opening. I think uh, I've got one scheduled. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> We're going to see how it... Because I've never spent Microsoft points on the game. So it's going to be rather interesting. So up on screen over here, I'm just showing you a couple of players. I was looking through the whole list of that player. And uh, you can see over there the cheapest is 400. I got mine. Could have got it for 250. But I said, no, I'm not going to bother. And... Uh, We'll leave that there. So, certain deals, guys, I always try going for lower values. Now, in terms of inform cards, as you saw, I'd gotten in Bonucci. I want to cover that topic quickly whilst I'm showing you informs. Try picking up some of your informs for, you know, around about the value they're going for and hold them for maybe a week or two because when they're no longer in packs, their prices are going to go up. So, I believe Mertens, uh, you can see this play up on screen. I actually got one. You'll see it in the Journey series tomorrow. Uh, I picked up a really good deal on some players. So, definitely, guys. Do look into a couple informs for holding on for the long term because you will find some really nice deals and also the market value should go up when they're no longer in packs. It's just a common thing that happens in FIFA. So on in terms of math spending, I covered that as the non-res and res. Um, informs, I covered that. Fitness cards for the subscribers that asked me about fitness cards. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But with fitness cards this year at the moment, guys, everyone is advising people to invest into them. So. I highly recommend do it from exactly when the team of the year is released, maybe 15 or 20 minutes later, because that's when those cards will settle into the market from being opened in packs, and their prices should reduce. Some players are going up in value, like Neymar and Hazard, but that's only on the day after the team of the year has been released in the certain sections, because people want to buy back the player backs, and they want to have it back in their squad. A lot of backs in that sentence, but that's what the reason why some players are going up in value. So definitely guys those were some of the tips i think on team of the year players if you guys pack them if you get them very early when they're released try selling them as soon as you can because you can make a lot of money i saw um the likes of thiago silva going for five million as soon as he was released in packs and some really crazy profits to be made so definitely guys have a look into that uh and also if you pack them maybe later on Maybe you want to hold on to them until after Team of the Year passes a week or two and their price might increase. But we're going to put Torres into our squad, guys. Hopefully you did find this episode really helpful and it helps you guys with trading today. And uh, also, guys, if you get anything in your packs, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter and uh, show me what players you got. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm going to change the tick list over there to the change the players' prices. And also we're going to put Torres as we picked him up just now in the episode. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. By all means, feel free to drop it a like. Subscribe if you're new here for more daily FIFA 14 content. Check out my other series, guys. They'll all be in the links will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitter as well. It's at AVJV Gaming. But this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.